What's good? What's good? It's your boy DJ Creed back with another video, man. Your boy Corey Holcomb is doing something prolific, man. He is repeating the words of Miss Sharaza Ali, man. She is an author and she has some very crazy things to say. I'm not even going to waste y'all time. We're going to play this video, then I'll come back with my commentary. Here we go. Play. Hey, man, play this video. Listen, I want my people from my show to hear this video because this is one of the sisters I hope to have on my show. Now, this is just a microcosm of what she talks oh, about. Oh, she the truth. But when she said this, I was like, this is something we have to talk about. Give it to me, man. I think I know what this is. She the truth. This is what you have to remember. The average black woman in America don't get no older than about 14. Eesh. So just talk to her and deal with her like you're dealing with a 14-year-old. Don't come at her like you're dealing with an equal, because she's not going to be able to accept that. you got to go way back. And uh, we cut off at about 14 or 15. We don't develop and mature no further Jeez. until we get some new information and accept some different information. Uh, this is what you have to remember. The average black woman in nah, America don't get no old. You just rewind after that. Whew. Now, what's the sister name? Shahrazad Ali. Ali. An information machine. Mm -hmm. But what she said is something that hit home with me. And, you know, I've never said it, but here's the truth. She said the average mind for a woman cuts off at about 14. Did she just or you're say dealing with woman? a 14-year-old. Yeah. That's what she or... basically saying. No, she didn't say just women. Did she just say she woman? Said, she said sisters. Sisters. Did she say sisters? Yeah, black oh, women. She said. Play it, play it back. Before, we'll get it right. Because I was like, like uh-oh. Okay, let me make sure. Very specific. The average black woman in America don't get no older than about 14. <laughs> so just talk to her and deal with her like you're dealing with a 14 year old don't come at her like you're dealing with an equal because she's not going to be able to accept that you got to go way back <laughs> and uh we cut off at about 14 or 15 we don't develop and mature no further until we get some new information and accept some different information I all right I'm, I'm gonna stop it right there man that is a lot a lot man if y'all don't know who uh Sharza Ali is. Um, I had to do some just some little a little research and um come to find out, you know, she is an author. Um she it says on Wikipedia, she's an American author of several books, including a paperback called The Black Man's Guide to Understanding Black Women, the Black Woman. Uh, it says the book was controversial, bringing forth community forums, pickets, and heated arguments among black people in many parts of the United States when it was published in 1989. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I never really heard of this woman. And, you know, I do read, but I will say this. I, I wasn't, you know, really paying that close attention. But this is some a powerful statement, you know, not saying she's right or wrong, um, but it does have uh, a sample of a passage of her book. And this is this is y'all check this out, man. This is crazy. It says, although not lazy by nature, she has become loose and careless about herself and about her man and family. Her brain is smaller than a black man's. So, while she is acclaimed for her high scholastic achievement, her thought process does not compare to the consciousness of a black man's. Her unbridled tongue is the main reason she cannot get along with a black man. If she ignores the authority and the superiority of the black man, there's a penalty. When she crosses the line and becomes viciously insulting, it is time for the black man to soundly slap her in the mouth <laughs> what is man i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna do more research into you know 
this this person because um I'm not trying to be controversial, but you know, it gives me insight into why she said something like that. And I, I don't know if Corey Holcomb uh has done any research on this person. Uh but we will continue with the show and we'll you know we'll like carry the conversation on from there. But it's it's very interesting. Go pies is a So I'm gonna go back to where we were and just like it, it's crazy. It's real crazy. They'll stomp off. Very specific. The average black woman in America don't get no older than about 14. <laughs> so just talk to her and deal with her like you're dealing with a 14-year-old. Don't come at her like you're dealing with an equal, because she's not going to be able to accept that. You got to go way back. <laughs> and uh, we cut off at about 14 or 15. We don't develop and mature no further until we get some new information and accept some different. It's like dealing with a 14-year-old. Now, did I get it right? Yeah, yeah, right. And she even said we. So she's including herself. She's not speaking. I am in so much agreement with that statement because I have talked to women my age and they don't care what you say. <laughs> 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 they want what they want. And if you're not going to do what they want you to do, they'll stomp off. And that's not even 14. That's like a six-year-old or five-year-old. Yeah. I think 14 was jittery. I am letting you know this. That mirror that she just held up for a lot of people to see. It may be shocking, but it's necessary. I want you to know, if you conduct yourself like a child, will you please stop acting like you're an adult? I agree. I agree. You're not an adult. You're just an old child. And you know who I'm talking about because you are offended right now. Good one. You are offended right now at the fact that that woman said it and I'm backing it up. You're offended because you conduct yourself like a child. I know women. And I'm talking about most of them I know. I cannot hold a conversation with them. And they will act like it's me. <laughs> like, you know, it's called psychological age regression. Craig be having them Craig yeah, facts, yeah, boy. Yeah. Explain no. that, Craig. Yeah, it's just uh, when a trauma occurs in a person's life, um, they can get stuck in the emotional mental state or revert to the emotional mental state of a, of a younger age. Often the age and what's mm -hmm. the experience the, uh, when, in which they experience a significant trauma. Now, this is this. I can agree with that because sometimes, you know, a woman can seem like she's mature. She's handling business or any, any person, really. But once you get her pissed off or once you get her pissed off, it seems like they do the most childish and say the worst childish things ever. And this 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 goes it, it it applies to you know not only women but it applies to men too you know so i do agree with the statement but this is very interesting um and i think you know we definitely need to hold people accountable when they regress back to this state and once these childish people actually get new information and learn new things, they definitely should change their ways. But some people don't, you know, you, we all know some people who are grown and still act like children. Somebody said all women, not just black women. I agree with yeah. that too. Exactly. Child but I, like I, I was just correcting what you were saying. Cause I didn't want it to get right. Well, I didn't, well the sister, I didn't she going to speak for us. Yeah. She going to speak for us. It's a, it's a, it's a predicament we're in and we don't need to be in. Right. Mm -hmm. Women need to be trained by respectable men. I said, look at you, Corey. Women Ooh, need to be trained is. by a respectable man. Yeah. All right. If they're not trained by a respectable man, they're going to go out in the streets and literally destroy themselves and, the, and their legacy. And the first way you train her is by not her. You have to starve your dick in order to create order and establish a dominance and hierarchy the correct way, psychological way in the relationship. She has to know that you're stronger than her. I don't know about that one, uh, Craig. It it does apply in some situations, but 
with uh, abstaining or withholding sex doesn't always help, especially if she's on the lower, lower mind mentality than you. You know, it, sex can be used as the as a weapon. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it also the absence of sex can be used against you. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's all not how you play it. You know what I mean? Craig, I am not disagreeing with what you just said, but ain't nothing more satisfying. Yeah. Oh, Lord, of course. See, see, look. Than washing up in front of me just for <laughs> No discipline. I come in the room with the rag. <laughs> no discipline. You just cannot, huh? Every I time. love looking at you after I f you because you, I, I don't get much pussy off. Oh, I love you, Corey, and I'm gonna just give you some. I buy a lot of pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he they start getting off topic, but it, it's really uh, crazy. Um, if he gets this woman, what's her name? Her name is uh, let's see, Sharazad Ali. If, if he gets Sharazad Ali on there, I promise you, this that will probably be the biggest. Uh, interview and the biggest amount of likes and dislikes on his page but you know Corey is one of those people who he like he likes to go against the grain a little and and you know have people on his show that compliment what he believes and that's that's okay because it's his show but let me know in the comments do y'all think that most black women they stop. Their mentality is stuck at about 14 years old. Let me know in the comments. I know it's going to be crazy in the comments. I am going to be responding. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. More content is on the way. Peace.